Well, good morning, everyone. Pastor Corey Rowan here with Yorksville First Pleasant Grove and Tippecanoe United Methodist Church, bringing you a devotional for today out of Matthew 6. And Jesus is still on the topic of prayer. And he begins by saying, when you pray. And so already right off the bat, Jesus is saying when you pray, not if you pray or should you pray, just when you pray. And the reason he says this is because he's expecting us to pray. He's not commanding us to pray, though elsewhere in Scripture it says pray without ceasing. But here Jesus is just going with the, speaking with the knowledge of, okay, a, a person prays. And so we do need to be praying. He says, when you pray, don't babble on and on as people of other religions do. Or this would be pagans, as other translations say. Don't be like the pagans. The Bible is constantly calling us as Christians to be separate from the pagans. And so how do the pagans pray? It says they babble on and on. And so they ask over and over again. Now, that's not saying that we can't pray for the same thing over again. I, that's not what Jesus is saying. But you see, the pagans go into it, and their prayers could be you know, an hour long or, or all day long, just repeating the same thing over and over again. And they do this because in verse, in verse or on the rest of this, they think that their prayers are answered merely by repeating their words again and again. Verse 8. Don't be like them, for your father knows exactly what you need even before you ask him. And so the, the message is that God knows what we need. Now, some could say, well, if God knows what we need, then why bother praying? He already knows. Well, Jesus began this by saying, when you pray. So implying that we still need to pray. And Jesus is also not saying it's wrong to ask for what we need. You know, we might think we need something, so we pray for God to give us what we need, even though God already knows he still likes to be asked. I mean, it's just it's the relationship thing. Yes, he knows what we need. Yes, he could give it regardless of whether we pray, but he wants to hear from us. He wants to talk to us. And so our message for today is, is when you pray, understand that God hears you, that you're not you're not you don't get your prayers answered by repetition. You get your prayers answered if they are in accordance with God's will. And so as we pray today, let us not be like the pagans, but let us just pray to our Father in heaven who knows what we need. So we shouldn't be showy with our prayers, and there's no need to babble on and on because our Father knows what we need. And the Bible makes it very clear that the prayers of the righteous have much power. So won't you pray to the Lord today? Amen.